For what it's worth, I want to tell you a story about an experience I had when I was running the YMCA's in Chicago. I met a gentleman named John Neerad, a very successful man, and he lived in an area called LaGrange, Illinois. And we wanted to build a child care center in that area, and I asked John if he would fund the project. John was 91 years old, and he said that he would fund it, and he gave us $1.2 million to build a child care center in Burt Ridge, Illinois. So our building people started on the project. It was moving forward about halfway through the project. Uh, the building director came to me and said, we do not have enough money to build this child care center. And uh, I talked to the building person and I made a decision. I was encouraged to fly down to Florida and talk to John and ask him for more money. So uh, I was a little bit hesitant to do that, but I thought if we need more money, maybe John will give us more money. So I went down to Florida and I had breakfast with John and I distinctly remember, I said, John, we do not have enough money to build this YMCA. Would you be willing to give us another $500,000? And John looked me in the eye and he said, here's what you have to do. And he said, you have to turn the page over and you have to start again because that's all the money you're getting. That's the money that we had agreed to. And I think you can do the project for that. So I went back and I told the guys, look, we need to build that YMCA for that. And guess what? They're able to find ways to build that child care center, a beautiful child care center in Burr Ridge, Illinois for $1.2 million. So what I learned from that is sometimes you have to start over again. You can't accept what people say. Uh, if they feel like it's not enough money is this example. Uh, it's just an opportunity to rethink and redo and get it done for what it's worth.